I think I can fairly and, and generally say that that the, the businesses and most of the people in the town were very suspicious of the Shaw Festival. And, and it took a long time to win them around. Some, t some of them never came around to, to accepting it. Um, one of them was Isabel Davis, who was a lovely lady, uh, but she did not like the Shaw Festival, and she didn't like the tour buses coming into town. And I remember that one day she lived on Prito Street, and she laid down in front of one of the buses so it couldn't come down her street. So there, there was a lot of opposition from... Um, from just the the you know normal residents of the town to to the businesses until they realized that it was probably going to benefit them as well. But certainly, I remember in 1964 and 65 going around to all the 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 shops and the businesses and Mr. Sherlock at the gas station and offering them each two tickets to come and see one of our plays because many, many people had never seen a play that lived in Niagara-on-the-Lake and I think that, that they were suspicious of it and just wondered who these interlopers were even though a lot of the people from the town were involved in it. So I think little by little we kind of appeased them and... and um, made it a little more palatable for them to have a theater in this town by uh, offering them tickets and, and just speaking nicely to them and, you know. And then just going further about that, we were talking about the Prince of Wales Hotel. Well, the Prince of Wales Hotel at one time had been a very stylish hotel when the Prince of Wales actually was on tour in Canada and stayed there but um, by the 1960s it was pretty much of a dive and I remember having the they used to have what did they used to call it ladies and escorts they had one part of it and it was really just like a bar but however they still had rooms it was run by captain someone or other I've forgotten what his name is but anyway, my friend Hillary, who had come from Toronto to start the wardrobe and and um, and work for the season, um, got a room for several years, and I think she paid thirty or thirty-five dollars a week. I can't vouch for the bed. I was I was up in her room a number of times, but it was comfortable. She said, and it was uh, the right price. So that's where a lot of the the people who worked for the theater at that point stayed.